Hey everybody, stick around because it's breakfast time at camp. This morning we are making chilaquiles. So thanks for clicking on this video. Uh, it is a bright and crispy, cold Sunday morning at camp. We are at the Land Between the Lakes. Uh, Mr. Fish is behind me here making some coffee to help get things going this morning. And I'm fixing to get busy on making some breakfast. We're doing a traditional Mexican style breakfast of chilaquiles, which is uh, soggy chips with eggs and we're gonna do some chorizo sausage and such. So hang out with us. We're fixing to whip this up. Start off with some Johnsonville chorizo. This is absolutely gorgeous chorizo sausage. I'm so excited. Start your day off with a little spice. Spice is nice. Chorizo, if you're not familiar with it, is a heavily spiced Mexican sausage. It's uh, also very oily. So if you've never had it before and you're not a fan of uh, a lot of seasoning in your sausage, you might want to try out a little bit before you go obligating yourself to a whole dish of something made with chorizo. We'd rather have traditional breakfast sausage in this. It would not be a sin to do it that way. But um, this chorizo is really going to just kick this dish up. When it starts cooking up, it really starts to put off some aroma. You're going to start having people showing up from other camps around us going, <laughs> Pardon me, can I have some of what you have? I don't know why they talk like that. But, you know. You'd be surprised the way they've been partying all night. <laughs> Next, we're going to take some uh, just canned enchilada sauce. Open that up and get it in the pan. We're not even going to clean out that the remainder of the chorizo out of there. All right, so let's just get this in the pan. Just like that. So when you're doing this recipe, you want to use either homemade tortilla chips or a really good quality tortilla chip. And back where I live, there is a Mexican restaurant called Las Delicias, and they became known very quickly for their amazing tortilla chips. They're thicker than your typical chip. They just have such an amazing flavor. So they started marketing them to our grocery stores and other places out in, in our, our area. So I brought some of these to use for our chilaquiles. Because it's so cold today, we're gonna go ahead and fire up a second burner here so that we can cook our eggs at the same time that we're cooking our chips. We don't want anything to be cold come time to eat. Try to use as many flat ones as possible, just that seems to work out a little better. Now the trick to this recipe is that when you cook your chips, you cook them to the to the consistency that you like them. If you like them with a little crunch, then don't cook them as long. If you like them to be softer, cook them until they have achieved that softness. We'll make sure we got enough for both of us. Because I don't want to have to fight Jeremiah over this. chips just a little bit make sure they get down in that sauce don't want to break them up too much I'm just kind of breaking up the ones that are doubled over just want to make sure that we get that sauce distributed on everybody sauce We are almost there. These chips are just about right. 
So we're fixing to get out a plate and we're gonna get these bad boys served up. All right, so we're gonna plate this, put down a nice bed of these soft chips. Some for each of us. I'm not giving it all to Jeremiah. Oh, damn it. Oh, I'll share this time. All right, dude, that looks so good. Get that out on the plate. Now we're gonna get some eggs on top of this. Hell yes. Whew. Look, these eggs aren't pretty, but uh, they're camp eggs. And we're probably eating better than the people at the other camp that are over there making, you know, instant oatmeal. <laughs> <laughs> and last, well, not last, next, Next, we're going to throw on this amazing chorizo. Just like this right here. That smells so good. I'm going to put a lot of this on there because I have a feeling we're going to be coming back for more. Hell yeah. <clears throat> and then, the crown of the whole thing. Some queso cojita. Yes. Now we're talking. A little uh, dry Mexican cheese there over the top. And now, your fork. Got two. Me. There you are, sir. Yeah, I don't know if I can get all this in one bite. We're <laughs> gonna try. Yeah, try to get something that has everything in there. All right, give me, give me a second. We've got, all right, we got the cojita, the eggs, chips. Mm. Man, that is so <coughs> good. The corn from the uh, chips really just kind of make it. No, cojita just kind of mellows it out and kind of fills in some of the gaps between the fat and the um, chorizo and the fluffy eggs. Mm. So good. Here's the thing. I've never actually made this before. I caught a, uh, caught a YouTube video of a guy making something similar to this and I started thinking this would be really good camp food. So grabbed up the ingredients and brought it along. So I'm trying this for the first time too. I've had chilaquiles before at a Mexican restaurant, uh, but it wasn't a breakfast dish. Here we go. Why have I not been making this for my whole life? Right. This is amazing. I know it sounds a little weird with the soggy chips and everything, but this is spectacular. There, there is just enough bite in these chips. And I think getting the really good thick, good quality tortilla chips is, is everything mm -hmm. with this. Cause like if you got Tostitos or something like that, they'd probably just fall apart on you. Turn up mush. But if you can find a locally sourced chip or just go get you some corn tortillas and make your own. You don't have to fry them. You can bake them and make them just as good. But that makes it everything because it holds together just right. Uh, I mean, it acts as a vehicle to get all the rest of this goodness into your mouth. This is just, this is so good. This is a winner. So we're having this tomorrow morning? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse my ill manners. Mm. Oh, this is so amazing. So I'm done with you guys. I'm putting you away so I can put this away. <laughs> So if you enjoyed this content, if you like watching us cook, if you like watching us camp, be sure to give this video a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you'll be aware of every upcoming video. Also, check out our Amazon wish list down in the uh, description box below. It's full of items of all different prices. But if you want to help this channel out, you can send us one of those items and it'll either help us along on our adventures or it is something that we can test in a future video. And if you tell us who you are, we will give you a proper shout out in that video. But we're going to shut this thing down for now finish up our breakfast, enjoy the rest of our camping trip, and until the next time, prepare for the world that you live in, not the one you wish existed. We'll see you around.